Hey, I'm Logan Lynn. You're watching 1019 Kink FM in the Skype Life studio. Keep working well. I'm so glad it's after five o'clock because Key Bank would definitely shut us down <laughs> right. with the decibels there. You've got your egg shirt on. I, I just do. want you to explain the significance of the egg shirt. It's super significant because they are my egg squad. No, um, I am having a new record. And so the significance of the egg is just, uh, you know, new life or breakfast. Uh, right. Whichever you prefer. Either. And there's no pressure tonight with your boss in the front row. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> lots, of, lots of friendly faces. Parents, nine-year-old niece. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Congratulations on this new record, Thank Logan. You. I'm so unbelievably proud of you for a couple of reasons. First, that you've continued to have such an active career in music when you have this very big job as a mental sure. health advocate. And secondly, that you have been so open in talking about your own experience with mental health. Yeah. What brought you to that point? Of being open? Yeah. Well, I think, you know, I've been kind of public since I was 17 years old out doing music, and I've certainly had mental health struggles my whole life, so there would have been no way to hide it. I think early on it was uh, written about or, or I, was, I was writing about it in a way that's different than now. I was, you know, not well. And so uh, I've been talking about it for a while publicly. This is just a, a new way of, of talking about it. And how has the music industry embraced this idea that you want to be open about being well and taking care of yourself? How does right. that message go over? It's been great. <laughs> yeah, no, um, you know, I, I often say to people, like, what would it have been like for Amy Winehouse to have gone to rehab and written a song about going to rehab? And would we have embraced that? Right. Uh, and my experience is that it's a little bit harder. I think people are embracing this record in a way which has been really cool to watch. Yeah. Um, but certainly I don't, uh, you know, the, the normal record label meetings you have don't usually start with like, hi, I'm Logan and I've written a record about my experience of suicidal ideation and overcoming uh, adversity and trauma. You know, I mean, it's not super pop. Right. Um, <laughs> but it is actually a fun record, even in the midst of sort of tough subject. The, the great thing for me as I was listening to it was I found myself, I listened to Logan's album very early to try. You were the first. Yes. And I was cleaning and I found myself dancing. And then I read the liners and I was like, whoa. <laughs> And that's the hat trick, which is so magic about this, is that you could put this on at any party and people would go, that's a hell of a lot of fun. Spoonful of sugar. Exactly. I want to talk about the Keep Oregon Well campaign Please, because yeah. Chilliam has done something that I think is leading the nation in the thinking around mental health. And that yeah. is, is to bring it to entertainment, bring it to pop culture, sure. bring it so that it's out in the open. It was your idea. Yes. Well, I mean, to be fair... This man in the front row, when I first started working with him, Kim Scott, said, surely if we can build a whole movement around keeping Portland weird, we could do the same thing about keep, around keeping Oregon well. And wow, I was like, ah, yeah. That's it. That's right. the advocacy platform. So we started uh, with you know bumper stickers that following week, and it has really grown. And, and you were our first spokesperson. You're my primary advocacy partner, and I'm so proud of what we've done. Yeah, and now, dearest friends, yes. I just want to ask how you're keeping well as you go out on tour. It's a really rigorous time to be yeah. in the public spotlight and I know that buses are not fun so what are you doing are planes. yeah um, you know it's funny I I have, have thought about that right like we've interviewed so many people about how you keep well and then we were on the road and I was like oh my god I'm up and it's five in the morning and all I want is pizza and maybe I'll go downstairs and gamble and it was like this weird I had a weird Vegas experience this last weekend where you know we were all sober and also um you know it was still very rock and roll so I think I'm I'm trying to be easy on myself I've gained a little bit of weight I look a little different I'm a human being and, and I'm allowing myself to to be a human being oh you look um, beautiful to me and I'm you. sure the rest of the people I'm, here. I'm, yeah. Great. Yeah. I'm sure my mother agrees. Um, but you know, it's a thing, right? It's a it's a thing where when I'm doing mental health advocacy, I don't always think about how I look or or, or whatever. And so, really, the way I've been taking care of myself is to embrace all of this egg. Wow. I think on that note, we can go more music from Logan Lynn. Great.